Hey guys, Razorblade Mango here, and welcome to the first in the usual E3 conference discussion videos. Normally I do these solo, but today I have Mario with me, aka Mexican Chewbacca. Please say hi without embarrassing yourself. Mm. I'm Boogie yeah, Ma Mario here. No, seriously. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm okay. Okay. So, today, um, well, we're going to be talking about Microsoft today, and I've got my nice tablet here. Now, normally the way things go where I, ha I wrote down every single, th I write down every single thing that happens in these conferences. Well, with Microsoft, I am not, I don't want to talk about all 60 games, so we're going to talk, we're going to go through like some of the, the, the standout things that they did. We'll talk about the games, and then we'll go into just, just overall thoughts on the conference itself. I'm going to try to keep these short and sweet to the point because sometimes they can drag on which is one of my problems with talking about E3 because I like talking about it. So first thing, not necessarily the first thing they talked about, but Ori and the Will of the Wisps finally has a release date coming out February 11th. Looks good. I'm good. looking forward to it. Thing here. Yeah. It. Looks good. Gears 5, uh, I did not think looked all that good from the trailer that they showed. I didn't like either of them. I and it's so strange for a game that's coming out in like three months. It's barely getting any kind of attention at E3 besides some kind of like CGI demo from the multiplayer mode. No gameplay. No gameplay. Yeah, that's a running theme this year. It's it's E3, but there's no gameplay. They they lost the gameplay this year. Uh, Gears Five had that trailer that made me like want to fucking put a pencil in my eardrum and just gouge my eardrum out with that, that horrible Ozzy Osbourne and the Little John remix that they did for the escape trailer. That was terrible. I hated that. That was the low point of the conference for me. Uh, then we're ta we'll talk about Star Wars Jedi. We gotta at least mention one EA thing. EA didn't have a conference. I don't give a shit about any of the other shit except Star Wars. What did you, what did you think of Star Wars this year? I was... I, I I want to say but I can't. Go ahead. I, you're free reign here. <laughs> I told Angel, he's like, really? Chewbacca? Really? He's in it? I'm like, well, yeah, it takes place between like, Is what? Is that Chewbacca? I thought that was just some generic looking Wookiee. It looked like that, but he thinks it's maybe, maybe, you know, between three and four. Okay. You know, it takes place. But, um, I wasn't too blown away from it. But it's like we're getting a story game from EA. This is what this is something I never heard of in how long? Uh, well, I mean, they do their indie stuff. But AAA, oh, like triple A, yeah, not for a long time. It's been it's been a long time. Like you know, it looks like you know, Uncharted mixed with God of War mixed with what? I made another comparison. What was it's, that comparison? Uh, Tannifall? Yeah. They're running as well. The, park, the parkour. The parkour. Mm -hmm. But it's also got, from what I understood from a tweet, like EA, I thought their showing with Star Wars this year was not, I was not all that blown away by it. I mean, I liked it. I, I thought what I saw was okay. I just, I, I was disappointed with it, honestly. Because I expected more from Respawn. Like, I expected them to come to E3 and just, like, blow me the fuck away with whatever Star Wars thing they're doing. And I was just kind of like, it looks fine. It just doesn't look amazing. And that's what I was hoping for, that it looked amazing. But it, then, then you know, there's always, like, it's got time to, to have more gameplay come out that would blow me away. But I didn't think any either of the stuff they showed really like blew me away and neither at the EA conference nor at the, the Microsoft one I was just kind of like okay it's Star Wars thing okay and I've heard it's kind of like Metroid where you can go to the planets in any order that you want and you have a crew and you have a hub ship and you unlock powers that will let you like explore more of the, the world and I'm like why didn't they show that why would they show like this linear thing with let's like uncharted meets like 
Dark Souls combat. Like, maybe, why did... Maybe they don't want to show much of it. Yeah, but this is E3. This is what, like, pisses... This is what annoys the shit out of me with all these companies. They're like, oh, get ready for E3! Oh, by the way, we're saving our best shit for later. It's the same shit they pull with Doom, which we'll, we'll get to that later. But... Doom yeah, Doom Con. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, that was Star Wars, which... Eh, it could be great, but... I don't know. I, I didn't see enough to really blow me away. Uh, they showed off the new Battletoads, which has actually been getting a lot of shit. And I don't understand why. Like, people have been saying that the art style looks terrible. And I don't think it does. I think it looks good. I don't know. Maybe that's. Am I just, like. I, I don't know. I just thought it looked fine. I, I, I was like, oh, cool, Battletoads. I mean, it ain't Banjo Kazooie, but, you know, it's Battletoads. It looks okay. It might be cool. Oh, one of the ones, one of the ones I was not all that impressed with was um, the Leading Edge, which is the first game from Ninja Theory. Now that they're under Microsoft's umbrella, and can you guess what it is? It's another Overwatch. It's an Overwatch clone. Which, to be fair, they're doing like. A melee focus thing with Bleeding Edge. And I actually have heard from people that were there at E3 that Bleeding Edge actually was pretty good. But I just, I just was like, oh, that's what they're doing. Oh, they made Hellblade. Now they're doing this. Okay. Thanks. Maybe just a small team that's working out something. Maybe. Your team's working out something else. Maybe. Maybe I'm giving too much shit for Bleeding Edge, but it's... it. I just was like, oh cool, they're under Microsoft, they're getting a, a big budget now. What's their next thing? Oh, it's another multiplayer live service thing. This is... Well, this is... Well, here, this is what you gotta see. It, how many... Th how many... How many games have you seen right now that come out for, like, Battle Royale kind of status? A lot. Or, like, an Overwatch. Fallout 76 is doing it. You know it's, you know it's been overdone when Fallout 76 is doing it. We just played it for, what, the free weekend? We were just doing stupid shit. Which, well, I'll get to that. But, but. Well, we'll get to the business later. But it's like, you know, you got so many companies right now, and, like, what? You, first was, like, um, PUBG, right? No, first was, uh, wasn't it H1Z1? H1Z1, PUBG, PUBG the Fortnite... Fortnite. Then after okay. that, uh, Call of Duty, now Battlefield, now Fallout, now Apex, Apex, um, and it's it's one. it's not and it's not stopping because like you know it's still a battle royale mode. I think people are but sick of it though, which I like. I yeah th yeah I've it's just like ain't, ain't well except for Fortnite. Fortnite's still the little kids. Oh thing yeah. Hey, I, I like Fortnite. Oh, I'm not saying uh, you know it's not bad. It's um. I think it's way better than Apex. Uh. Sorry. Well, yeah, Angel doesn't even play. I think, uh, like, here, here's, here's an example. My little brother and his friends. Everyone talks about Apex, everyone talks about this, but it's like Fortnite's still, like, the big thing. Everyone, they just come back to it. It's like, they, they go play the newest stuff, they get bored of it, but they come back to Fortnite again. And it's, and it's like one of these battle ram modes, you know? It's free to play and all yeah. that stuff, but it's like, if you're gonna pay $60 for a battle royale game yeah. with loot boxes and microtransactions, I'm like, okay, no. No, 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 no. Oh, we'll get to that with, um... We'll get to that with Square Enix later. Um... The next thing, um... So, Double Fine. They own Double Fine now. And we got to see, uh... The new look at Psychonauts, which still doesn't have a solid release date. It looks good, though. I'm, I'm looking forward to Psychonauts, too. It looks good. Um, them purchasing Double Fine, that just makes sense to me, because Double Fine's been, like, teetering on the edge of not having money for a very long time now. Broken Age wasn't all that great. I don't think it was, so... Eh. Uh, Tales of Arise, which is the next Tales game. I don't have a lot of familiarity with the series, but I, I liked what I saw from the trailer. It looked good, at least they showed gameplay. It looked good. Um, oh, and then they showed off, uh, Lego Forza, which, now, I will give, I will give them, I will give them this, okay, I will give them this, 
I give him a lot of shit every year for dropping a car from the ceiling or from the floor. They did it again this year, but it was a car, it was a, was it a McLaren again? A McLaren. A McLaren made out of entirely of Legos. And I was like, okay, that's, I'll take an, I'll, 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 you have an exception with that. That's actually pretty cool. And the expansion did look pretty cool. And they're now doing Forza 8 this year, which is astonishing. Think, That's like one of the I, few I, things I swore we were I, gonna see. I think they're leaving that for um, next year for the holidays. Maybe. Oh yeah, for the for the Xbox, the the um, Scarlet. The Scarlet. Yeah. Because think about it, I think what Xbox is doing um, next year is they're not trying to fuck up with what happened with the Xbox One, <laughs> day, where there was no exclusives yeah. compared to what Sony. Well, I mean, had. there were, but they weren't very good. They weren't very good. So I think they're Neither were Sony's at launch, to be fair. No, they weren't either. They had knack. That Knack they had sucks. Knack and they had Killzone. Uh, well, that, was that was it. That was like the two big ones that year. Um, yeah, Rezo Gun. Rezo Gun was the best one. And after that, um, like you see, you see how I, I, what I'm trying to see is, uh, 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 so what I'm seeing is that uh, Microsoft's not trying to fuck up like they did six years ago, but it's like you know. It's like, you know, how many, you know, obvious, they bought so many studios, they, they have a bunch of them working on what yeah. next, next gen titles. Yeah. So probably this year three obvious, it wasn't as good as compared to the other ones were, but probably next year we'll be seeing something really, well, really... Obviously, yeah. You know, gonna, well, yeah, it's going to be like, what, 2013 E3. Yeah. And we'll see who kills it on the floor. Yeah, we'll see if Sony even comes back. If they do. Well, what I've heard is there's been rumors about Sony's gonna do their thing in December. Which that would make they sense. might show it at the Tokyo Game Show. That's in September though. Well, which one's in December? That's PSX. Wait, wasn't there something like in December? The Game there? Awards, maybe? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, I heard something about the Tokyo Game Show that Microsoft, there's something, there's rumors going on Microsoft, uh, Sony's gonna do something. So, mm. we don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Um, then they showed Elden Ring, which I'm very excited about. I don't know when it's coming out, but it's the new uh, From Software game. I don't know if it's being directed by Hidetaka Miyazaki or if he's just a part of it. Uh, and George R. R. Martin, obviously Game of Thrones fame, he's doing like the story and the, the consultation of the lore in the story and all that, which is pretty exciting, even though I'm not a, a Game of Thrones fan. Um, I've heard it's open world, it's supposed to take inspiration from Norse mythology and, and, and Celtic mythology, which should sound sounds pretty cool. I like the vibe that it gives off in the trailer. I like the bit with the arm that moves on its own, the cutoff arm. I like that. That was cool. Uh, then, yeah, I mean, we'll. Do you what do you want to do first? Do you want to do Project Scarlet or do you want to do Keanu? You gotta. Which one do you want to do first? Pick one. Let's do it with Project Scarlet. All right, so Project Keanu for last. Keanu for last. So Project Scarlet. Um, I th honestly, I was very underwhelmed by what they talked about because I think Sony did the the bull bullish thing where they basically just <laughs> they basically just like dumped out a news article about the PS5 one Tuesday morning, just randomly, no hype, no build up, no nothing, just oh here you go. Here's a here's an everyone article. Everyone just went crazy. Everyone was just like, "What the fuck?" And just like, like it was just this random thing where they're they're talking about how it's gonna have a, a solid state drive, and how it's gonna be 8K, and how it's gonna have 3D audio, and how the load times are gonna be amazing, and, and all that. And it was like, I think that just like completely took the wind out of Microsoft sales because Microsoft they basically made like the the normal thing where they come out and they sit developers down in a chair in front of a camera and they make them just speak the most like PR bullshit in front of the camera where they're like oh we're thinking about the future and the pixels are gonna look amazing and this future is just gonna rule this see, future but, and I'm see, just like that's, shut that's up like, that's like shut the, the hype, fuck up that's like the hype they were putting for everybody yesterday we were like on that day they're like oh well we heard news that they're gonna announce Project Scarlet today they're gonna talk about it yeah. and here comes the video and they're like <laughs> well, we're, what we're trying to do is like, you know, we're trying to do more of an architecture kind of white and not so Z. 120 frames per second? No. Yeah. At 8K? 8, 
Well, okay, not not necessarily 8K, but do you believe they're actually gonna do 120 frames a second at all? At 1080p, probably yes. Mm. So, what TVs even support them? Not a lot of them. Really? Am I just that out of the loop? So, so okay, so you have TVs that have like um 60 um 60 hertz mon uh 60 yeah. frames 60 hertz. Yeah. Fuck is wrong with me today. Um, you, there's ones that you see with like 120 hertz. Yeah. No. But to be honest, to really notice that, you'd literally need to play like on the monitor. Yeah. Then you'll see, you know, the true one millisecond response, and you'll start seeing that. But to be honest, to hit 100, 120 hertz at 1080p, I would go probably like what, 1060, 1070 should be fine. When you're talking about 2K. Uh, 1660. 8K. 8K is probably putting like, I don't know, maybe Ooh. two 2080 Ti's at SLA and just like, fuck it, you know? Yeah. In my opinion, but it's like 8K 120 frames, that's like you probably playing the game at the lowest settings at 8K. It's still gonna look nice, you know? Yeah. It's 8K, but it's like, that's a lot of hardware. You're talking about putting like two graphics cards in there and like probably. Yeah. A thread ripper or something. I don't know. Yeah. It's an, it's another one of those where it's like the hype piece, and even PlayStation did it too. But PlayStation didn't make like a giant video out of it where they're like, "Oh hey, here we're doing this." They didn't have like Mark Cerny in front of a camera talking to the TV like, "We have PlayStation. We believe in the future." Game. Like, Shut the fuck up and just show me the goddamn games. And then all they show is just a cutscene from Halo Infinite, which. Okay. Weren't they talking again, like with teraflops? No, I don't. I don't think they were. And here's the thing, too. Before I get into Halo, the interesting thing that I have heard from this E3, and it's been it's been said by like a couple people, I've heard that Sony actually has the edge on the next Xbox in terms of like power. That's what I've heard. I don't know if it's true. Don't quote me on that, anyone. But I've heard that the word on the street is that. The PlayStation 5 is slightly more powerful than the, the Scarlet. That's what I've heard. I don't I don't know if this is true. Just what I've heard. Because look, and then you look at the lingo, because remember when the Xbox, the, the X came out, they were like, oh, this is the most powerful console ever made. This is the most powerful console ever made. They wouldn't shut up about it. And then when the time came for this one to be shown off, their terminology was, this is the most powerful console we've ever made. So I'm thinking like, hmm, maybe they are behind PlayStation again in this respect. And we're gonna get another hardware refresh sometime maybe like 2023 or 24. But did you take a glimpse on what they were talking about? No, because I'm a peasant and I don't know the tech babble like you do. So they said it was gonna be four times faster on processing. But then pro Sony pro that too? Processing. Yeah. Nobody said nothing about graphics. Pro Halo, Halo Infinite didn't look all that next gen to me. It, it just looked like it was CGI. Halo. It was CGI. Yeah. It yeah. was CGI. So, okay. So back to this, um, back to Again, this no with Scar. Play. No gameplay on Scarlet. This all all of this crap that's going on. Okay. So when when the PS4 and the Xbox One came out, they were based on the AMD Jaguar base. So it, it wasn't the newest thing. It was literally about like probably a couple of years behind of yeah. what everyone had on their PCs. Yeah. Um, now that Navi came out, and I, I know that um, Xbox and and the PS5 are working like you know on based on the Navi chips. Yeah, it's gonna be like what a year behind when it came out, but compared to what you see, what six years ago since the X, uh, both consoles came out. Yeah, six years ago. Yes, um, probably processing power is going to be much faster, um, but graphics, we don't know nothing about graphics power. You know, that's that's where it comes out to, like, how much VRAM are we talking about? Because the PS4 had about 8 gigs of Vita Car RAM, and so did the um, Xbox, according to, I think that's what the Xbox had. Uh, due to the, the official reports, what I've heard under the low for some people, it's that um, that they're working on trying to get at least 12 gigabytes of video card RAM. 
something equivalent to like a GTX 1080 or 10, a 2080 Ti. Pretty much that's how much that's how much reader card RAM we're talking about. Because you can't go up to 4K with six. You can't go up to even eight. Like obvious, even though even though with like so much reader card RAM even you have, yeah. Um, it's just it's just the hardware base. You know, more RAM equals more detail in game. Sure. But AK is something you know. Not not even every not even like on PC, it's gonna be like stable. Yeah. And the one thing with Sony, <laughs> sorry, the one thing about Sony being slightly more powerful is like, okay, remember when the Xbox One came out with like a a, a what was it, like a brick power supply? Oh my God, I bought the brick. <laughs> I remember that thing was a mammoth. <laughs> That wasn't a console, that was a mammoth in my And PlayStation is still using the same cable from the PS3. Where it was just, there you go, that yeah. was it. You don't need a fucking brick around the whole place. Brick, what the hell were they thinking? That was, well that was back when they were trying to make the Xbox into like the all-in-one you all in one entertainment system. And he even, Spencer even said it came out and we're like, Hey, with this console it's gonna be about the games guys, we're not gonna shout TV at your ass the whole time. Which... What happened now? You can watch sports and talk to your friends. Oh, yeah, 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 that really that worked out really well for Xbox. PlayStation game, 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 game. Yeah, games. PlayStation came out and just psh, bitch slap Xbox with those games. Um, but two games I was shocked that they didn't show: Forza, Forza Eight, and Fable. It's an open secret that Fable is being worked on by Playground Games, who are the guys behind Forza Horizon. I'm pretty sure those are going to be next-gen games now. Now, let's... I'm curious, though, if they're going to be exclusively next-gen and PC. Because, X, because Halo Infinite is going to be on the Xbox One as well. The regular one. So they already cannot use the full power of the Scarlet and the PC and whatever to make this for the, the last one. Because it would just overheat the system. That's, where, that's, where that's the problem. That's the problem, and that's where they're gonna screw up. Well, I don't know if PlayStation PlayStation might do that too, where they're like, "Hey, here's here's a uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2 for both PS4 and PS5," and it's like, "Why the fuck would I even well, bother buying a PS5? I can just well, buy a PS4." Well, see, that's the one thing. Like, here's the one thing. Um, so you're about to hit the 30 minute mark. So. <laughs> yeah, this quick. Um, so. I, was, I doubt I doubt Sony's gonna put Horizon Zero Dawn 2 on the old gen. I hope, I hope not. No, because like even with the time and it came out what, like what? 2016? 2017? 2016. No. 20... 2017. 2017. By the time it takes what? It took five years to make the first one? Yeah. Yeah, so by the time they even like work with the new technology, I, I feel like Sony's gonna put all these um, games on next gen. Yeah. Most, but likely. most likely, I know Microsoft's gonna want to put, you know, not everyone's gonna buy our new Xbox Scarlet, but we can just put it on the other consoles. Make well, that happen. Well, that's the thing with the Scarlet. It's like I I understand why Xbox is expanding out to PC and all that. I understand. Like I think it's great. Like from my point of view, for my convenience, I would much rather play these games on my PC. Like especially if they're gonna bring them to Steam, so I don't have to deal with the fucking Windows Store. It doesn't convince me to buy. Exactly, an Xbox. that's the problem. It it does not convince me, somebody who already has a good gaming PC, to buy a Scarlet. Like I don't I don't need a Scarlet. That's fine for people that are like loyal to Xbox and don't have a gaming PC and just want like the the consoles. I understand that, but for a lot of other people, it's kind of like. I don't know. I don't know. Like the Xbox brand is just—it's it—it just can't compete in terms of exclusives anymore. That's the thing, and that's not necessarily like a bad thing because they are making you know open for everybody and all that. They're working with Nintendo and all that, and that's great. I love it. I love the results of that so far. But I—I I don't know. Like like in my, in my opinion, I think X, Microsoft fucked up on working on just the Xbox One X. I, I think they just fucked up. I think I think this last the beginning of last generate of this generation like really fucked them up hard. Like it just like they were the king shit. And this is why I, this is why I'm holding onto the theory that PlayStation is gonna come in like dead last this gen. They're gonna fuck up in some big way that Xbox is gonna like ride that wave of hype to the top. It always happens. There's only been one time that a console that a manufacturer has stayed on top. 
PlayStation. One time. It's from the PlayStation 1 to the PlayStation 2. That's the only time that they've stayed, like, number one. PS3, boom, down to the bottom. PS4, back up to the top. PS5, I don't know, but I'm predicting, like, low. Because the Sony is, is probably going to reach that point where they're going to get cocky, and they're going to piss people off, and Xbox is going to come in and be like, hey, guys, we've got Xbox Game Pass, we've got backwards compatibility, here you go. But... Um, Halo, not impressed. I, I'm, I'm, and I've heard it's another one of these fucking live services, and they're already talk. They already like they talked about microtransactions last year. They said last year they're like, oh, we're gonna have microtransactions in our game that isn't coming out for another two years. And I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? We haven't even seen footage of it, and we already know it has microtransactions. It's gonna be a live service, and it's not made by Bungie. This is what like people are like, like, oh, I'm so hyped to see. Master Chief again, oh my god. And I'm like, okay, it's not Bungie doing this. It's 343. And so far, 343 are like 0 for 2 for these Halo games. They have not made a decent Halo game. And they've had years to get this right. And they just haven't. So I'm not excited for Halo Infinite. I don't care if it, I don't care if they're making it like, oh, launching with Project Scarlet. So fucking what? Like, who cares? It's not Bungie. Sorry. It's not. I hate to rain on your parade if you're excited for Halo, but I couldn't give less than a shit about Halo Infinite. Unless they were to bring, again, gameplay. Unless they were to bring gameplay to E3 next year, that just blows my fucking tits off and just wows me. But they didn't do that. They just showed a cutscene with Master Chief, and that was it. And I was just like, okay. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. So, Keanu Reeves. Cyberpunk 27. We got a date for Cyberpunk, which I was shocked by. You're breathtaking! You're breathtaking! You're I was, breathtaking! I was fucking astonished that we got a release date. So it's April 16th, 2020. Perfect. Perfect time. I will be done with Final Fantasy VII Remake by then. How many roles does Keanu, Keanu Reeves have to play as a John character? Mm. Oh, yeah. Johnny, Johnny, John. Johnny Silverlake. Yeah. Johnny Silverlake. Supposedly he's in, like, the game, like, the whole time. I heard as, he has, like, um... The second most lines in the game. Beyond the protagonist, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, I've heard him described as like the Joker from Arkham Knight. But, keep, but keeping that big of a secret. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, it actually did get leaked. But thankfully, I didn't like see any of it. Mm -hmm. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my fucking god, Keanu Reeves is in fucking cyberpunk. And then he comes out and like, a, 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 like, like they're like cheering. Like, this audience is just, like, losing their fucking mind. And I'm like, okay, this is the one moment throughout the whole fucking E3 that heckling was actually okay when the guy was like, you're breathtaking. I was fine with that. That was great. That was a great moment. That was, like, the best moment of E3, almost. Almost my favorite one. A free collector's edition? He got a free collector's edition out of it. Oh, well, he said, I think he got both in the end. Because they were going to donate something to, like, a children's um, hospital a and go -kart. his... A go-kart. They were going to donate a go-kart to a children's hospital, and I think they're giving him the, the collector's edition as well. So I'm like, cool. Awesome. Um, I thought this was a pretty good conference. I liked it. I didn't think it was as good as last year's, though. Mm, last year's was better. Last year's was better because they just showed... They showed more gameplay, and they ended it a lot stronger than this year. This year, like, the first half was great. Second half kind of went, like... Uh, just kind of like, mm. and then when, especially when they started talking about Project Scarlet, I was like, oh, okay. all right. So like, final, final grade, like a letter grade. What would you, what would you give it? Uh, like a B minus. That's yeah. That's what I do. B minus for me. B minus. This is great. That's pretty good. Good conference this year. Hopefully next year's will be better where they have like more of the next gen stuff to show. If it's not all cross gen, like I'm afraid it's gonna be. Cause that Halo footage, even though it was CGI, if it was CGI, I'm just kinda like, why didn't you guys show something in engine? Like really? <laughs> why? So anyway, that was Microsoft. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys for Bethesda. Bye. <laughs>